Here is the bathroom. Ooh, this one's heavy. It's Renee, welcome to my channel. So for today, I thought I'd do something a little different. So I have mentioned before that I am super into, um, I love like, I obviously love makeup, I love clothes, I love beauty, I love watching beauty videos. But I mentioned before, I'm also, I'm really into a lot of more, I guess what you would consider nerdy things, I guess, just for lack of a better word. But I, in my header of my channel, mentioned that um, I kind of wanted to make this also kind of about a little bit of a lifestyle. So part of my lifestyle is very actively, like I play a lot of video games. I have a lot, like I have, there's my, there's my Xbox one right there, and there's all my games, and there's a stack of more games on top. Then I have a Kirby right there, there's a bunch of pop figures, oh hey, there's Wally. I love Disney too. There's GameCube, it's my 64, sorry, my Nintendo 64, um, that's my Wii U. But yeah, I have a lot of games. This is back there. I have a lot of games. I'm into a lot of like different things. Like I've posted a Harry Potter vlog and um, a Harry Potter haul before because I love Harry Potter too. But for today, I thought it would be kind of fun and a little different to post a haul of kind of the more nerdy, kind of more video game, just book kind of things that I bought. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you this because I do buy a lot of clothes. Like I buy a lot of clothes. Like another haul is coming of all the clothes that I bought in the last like month for my birthday but um it should probably be up before this one though but yeah I thought it'd be kind of fun and kind of different just to show you my other interests and kind of show you what part of my lifestyle is but yeah if you'd like to see this kind of different um kind of more nerdy haul um stay tuned and we'll get into it okay so actually some of my first things so my mom actually got me all of these so um Super Mario Odyssey just came out for the Nintendo Switch I've been playing it I've been loving it it is actually so fun like it's like way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. It's a lot like Super Mario Sunshine. It's a lot like Super Mario 64, but it's also its own thing and it's so fun. And I'm just, I'm having a blast playing it. I already have 250 moons. I'm about to go to the dark side of the moon. I'm pumped. But just, um, there's something fun you can do. So there's amiibo support with the game as there is with a lot of Nintendo games, especially Mario games. But um, there are wedding amiibos that you can get. So for the first one, uh, I already opened this one. It is Mario in his little, in his little wedding tux that he, uses to go save Peach from Bowser in like the last like boss scene but yeah I'm just like look at how look at how cute he is I love him he's so cute but um yeah and you can see like his little M and his little red bow tie but on top of that my mom went out yesterday because we I haven't been able to find Peach and Bowser I've been looking everywhere I had seen Mario before but I already had Mario because my mom got it for me thanks mom but um, she went out yesterday and she went to this like random game stop and she said they had like one of each left and so she bought me them. I'm really excited because you can also unlock like various costumes depending on the amiibos that you have. So I've unlocked like a traditional Mario costume. I've unlocked a Diddy Kong um, costume for Mario. And I've unlocked one more costume. I don't remember what it is. But depending on what amiibo you have, you can unlock various costumes. So if you have the Princess Peach emoji, you can unlock um, a wedding dress for Mario, which I'm so gonna put him in. And you can unlock um, Bowser's wedding tux. There's also two, like this will give you extra hearts in the um, in each level, like if you need um, an additional heart before you're about to go fight a boss or if you're losing a lot of life. And I forget what Bowser does. I know the Mario one makes you um, invincible for like 30 seconds, like the da -da 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 -da. yeah, like the star thing. But yeah, and I forget what Bowser does. He does something. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, actually I think I'm gonna unbox these right now. I don't leave my amiibos in their boxes. Like that's not what they're for. They're supposed to be used. Here is the Bowser. Ooh, this one's heavy. Ooh, ah! Got him. But yeah, no, this one actually is very heavy. I always love how well made. The original launch of Amiibos were so-so when they were made, but they've really stepped up their quality on them. And like I said, this one's like very weighty. It has a lot of weight to it. Um, yeah, and then uh, let me open up the peach one. Just, I'll, don't worry, I'm gonna clean up all the garbage. I'm not an animal. Oh yeah, hers is weighty too. Oh, it's so pretty. Her veil has sparkles in it. But yeah, I love this. I think Peach is so cute in this. And I've really grown to love Peach. I used to be kind of so-so in her character, but I think she's a really cute character. But yeah, she's so cute. And then obviously there's like, I think it's kind of a bummer though. They really should have put the eyeballs on her tiara because that's like, that's like who Cappy is. Like Cappy's like your hat. And then he's like, we need to go save my sister tiara who Bowser stole to put on Peach's head. I feel like it would have been so cute if they had done for both of them. Like, I wish they had put the eyeballs for Cappy and Tiara on their heads. That's a bummer. 
Still cute though, I'll use them. And I love, I have a big Amiibo collection, so I will definitely put those up in my display area after I'm done playing Super Mario Odyssey. And then kind of to go into more like figures, these are some that I bought and for the first one I'll show. So this is, um, all of these I've already opened. I don't really believe in keeping stuff in their box just because like, I'm sorry, pop figures are never gonna be really worth anything. Like maybe one or two of them might, like there's one that I want that's like a hundred bucks but it's the only one that I've ever seen for that price. But I would never pay for it. Like there's there's no point. But um, yeah, I just, so I just don't really see the point of keeping them in their box. I think they should be out and they should be displayed. But um, yeah, this is actually, um, this is the log lady from Twin Peaks. I really wanted to be here for Halloween, but I ended up just not dressing up. But I just think she's so cute. She's my favorite character from that show. I really like her. I think she's really kind of fun and kind of an unusual, weird character. And she added a lot of charm to the original season. And it was really sad to, um, well, the actor who played, or actress who played her, in real life, she passed away. And then you actually see, like, in the show where um, Hawk says goodbye to her, like, goodbye, Margaret, and then she passes away. And I just love that, like, the, I just love how she'll be like, my log has a message for you, but only if you're ready to hear it or something like that. But yeah, I just think she's a really cute character and I love collecting pop figures. I just think they're adorable. I have a bunch right there. I have more scattered about my shelves. I have more, like a whole Sailor Moon shelf for some of them. But yeah, they're, I just think they're super cute. Um, for another pop figure I have, so I have a couple favorite superheroes. One of them actually is, this is the uh, Jessica Jones um, super, or, this is the Jessica Jones pop figure. This one's actually more of a traditional bobblehead, like how a lot of the pop figures used to be. Jessica Jones is honestly like one of my favorite Netflix series. I really like, I really want to get the um, the Luke Cage one to go with there because I'm like, they are OTPAF, love them. But um, yeah, I just, I really, really like Kristen Redder. I feel like she does an amazing job as Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is a really, really cool superhero. I've read the Alias comics, like they're, they're a lot, um, her story is like way more sad than they even let on in the show and her st her story is sad in the show like it's really messed up but it's especially bad like if you read the comics and yeah it's just I feel like I just I'm like I really like her it's a very simple one but yeah I just I don't know I really like it I like buying pop figures just for shows that I like here this is actually another superhero like Marvel one that I really really enjoy I've really gotten into the comics and I have one of her comics to show too it's actually the new Miss Marvel so this one I had a really hard time finding because on Amazon she's super expensive and I was like oh like I really want her but I don't want to pay like $20 for a pop figure that's a lot and then I go to Walgreens and it turns out there's a there are Walgreens exclusive there oh she's only at Walgreens and they had a bunch of them and I'm like Amazon's tripping but yeah I just think she's so cute she's a great character um she's Pakistani she's Muslim and she's just the one who took on the she really really likes Miss Marvel a lot and looks up to her and wants to be like her and to save people in her um, Jersey City and there's not really a lot of superheroes there at least in like obviously her world and so she kind of just steps up and um, she actually gets powers from I forget what it's called but it's like a canister of this it's like this um, super like it's like this kind of like neuro agent and it unlocks like your inhuman gene and she runs into it after like leaving a party yeah and then she actually unlocks her um, inhuman genes because of that and it's really cool kind of like discovering her story and like her issues having more like conservative more and like more her parents are also Pakistani and her parents are very protective of her and they want to keep her more traditional and more safe and so they it's kind of like her struggle of being a superhero but also growing up in her life and in her home um, and then kind of going off of that, I also just ordered this. I have volumes one through three. It is the Miss Marvel comics. I, like I said, I love these. This has become like, it's kind of part of Marvel's new stories of like, of heroes where they're kind of rewriting a lot of these and they're including more like diverse characters. And I'm really excited to read this. I just got it in the mail yesterday. But um, yeah, I just, I think it's really fun. I love the art in all of it. It's so pretty. And yeah, I'm, just, I'm super excited to read it. I got it for a really good price. It was only like seven bucks from the seller I bought it from. And they said it was used and that there was damage, but it looks really, really nice. I really like buying um, comic books in volumes just because it usually is a little bit of a better deal. And you usually can't find single comics anymore. And then for my next thing, this is actually another book. So I'm really into the Witcher series. I started playing Witcher 3 a little while ago and I'm really into it. And this is the um, the Last Witch, which is the first book in the series of the Witcher books. And it's called, yeah, The Last Witch. And I think his name is An Andrzej Sapkowski? I'm sorry, I'm really sorry if I butchered his name, but I'm really interested in reading it. I really like the lore of the games. I think it's super interesting and really it's a very cool book. It's about Geralt of Rivia, who um, is the main character in all of the Witcher's video games. But yeah, I'm just excited to read more about it and just to find more about the lore. This I got for a really good price too because it's a mass market paper book, but um, it was around 
six bucks I think and just on Amazon super cool for another book I got I actually bought this for myself oh well, actually no I think I think my parents bought this for me for my birthday so as I mentioned I'm a pretty avid Harry Potter fan and I really I love the new illustrated versions that they have out for these books they're so beautiful um this one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban it came out I think two days after my birthday so I pre-ordered it and then it was sent to my house but yeah it's just so beautiful this is my favorite book in the entire series and it is not fully illustrated but a lot of the pages are illustrated like this I'm like this is beautiful and like there's like just little stuff like this like this is where Marge gets blown up and then like there's the hippogriffs I think this one's supposed to be Buckbeak I'm just guessing based on how he looks but yeah it's just so beautiful I got it for $20 on Amazon this is supposed to originally retail for about 40 and I don't know it's just so beautiful like I love the cover of the night bus and Jim like Jim K like he, these are just amazing this is something that I would have loved when I was a kid and I'm just so happy because now I get to read it with my nieces we're working on the first book right now and I'm just trying to get them into Harry Potter because um, my niece Carol really she's the one I did the um, I do my niece's makeup video and she's just really getting into Harry Potter she's a Hufflepuff I'm a Gryffindor and she's just really getting into it it's really happy that I, I'm really happy that I can kind of pass along like that really loving um, the book just to her and so she can enjoy it as well sure thing Oh, for a little extra thing, I forgot to include this. This is a little, actually, a Magic Carp, but um, it's a little Mega Constructs um, Magic Carp. There's a whole set of Pokemon stuff through Mega Constructs. I'm thinking about buying a lot more of them and just kind of getting the whole set. They're a lot cheaper than traditional Legos, and I really, really love Pokemon. And then, actually, this is another cool thing that I completely forgot that I bought. This is actually, whoop. This is a Mass Effect Omni Blade. It's very cool. It's like a cosplay item. It comes with its own stand that says Mass Effect on it. And it's just so cool. I really love the Mass Effect series. I'd say they're probably one of my favorite video game series besides the Legend of Zelda series. But um, yeah, it's just super cool. You can wear it. You can walk around pretending like you have an Omni Blade. This is what Shepard uses to um, as her melee defense weapon. So if you run out of ammo or you're in a tight spot and you're getting over... Like in the first game, if you're getting overtaken by husks, you can use it to stab them, basically. But yeah, it's just really, really cool. It's really fun. I love how it looks. I got it for only $20. It was normally about $60, but it was on sale for $20. It's just such a cool thing. I love the display stand. But yeah, I love it so much. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. And then finally, for my last thing, this was something that I was really, really excited about, and I can't believe I actually got one. I didn't get one on the first initial release, but I did get one about a week or two after. And um, I got the Super Nintendo Classic. So I've already unboxed it, it's already out in the open. Um, I thought about doing an unboxing video, but I was just really excited to play it, so I just opened it up. I can always box it back up and show you guys if you want. But yeah, it just, it can't, it's a really small version of the Super Nintendo. I grew up pretty much exclusively playing Super Nintendo, and it just comes with so many good games. Like, here's all the games it comes with. And for me, like, it was a lot, it was $80 but it is so worth it because I work in the video, kind of work in the video game industry. I, my family runs a classic retro video game store where we sell a lot of these. So really, if you were kind of on the fence about getting one, so this game actually, um, this comes with Earthbound. Earthbound is about a $200 game. So if you want this just for Earthbound, it's already worth it if you just, if you don't really care about collecting. Because a system itself with, um, without these all running on it, like their traditional Super Nintendo system, runs for about $80. And then um, if you want Earthbound, it's about $200. So I mean, you're already getting a value in so many of these games. That's like a $20 game, that's like a $30 game, that's a $50 game right there, Super Metroid, um, Secret of Man is expensive, Kirby's expensive. Really these games, I would say, probably just guessing maybe a $500, $600 value, and you're getting a system to play it on with two controllers. To me, it's super worth it. I've been playing a ton of it. It's just such a fun system. It reminds me of my childhood so much because this is all I played growing up. But yeah, it's so fun. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it if you just really want it for the nostalgia. If you want to collect, then yeah, definitely find something more to collect. But it's just so great. It's so fun. I love it so much. If you enjoyed this kind of different haul from me, I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. But if you like this video, please leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe. It'd be great to have you here. Again, my name's Renee. Thanks for watching. Bye.